<laughs> Hi ladies, welcome to your prenatal stretch class. My name is Megan Sampson. I am here to teach you a little bit about some stretching and recovery for your post classes that you're taking with me. We've gone through glutes and arms and now it's time to take it down to the floor. So we are going to stretch for just a small 10 minute segment today, working through those shoulders, glutes, all of our muscles that we've been working. So let's go ahead and take it down to the floor. We can start seated here, facing one direction of your mat. Take a nice deep inhale. I'll start facing forward, so I'll face that way. <laughs> Let's go ahead and ground through the roots of our glutes here. So take a hands on their, your knees, roll those shoulders up to the ears, and then right back down behind you. You can start by connecting movement to breath by inhaling with the ears up and exhaling, dragging those shoulders down. While we're here making that breath to movement connection, I just want to remind you that it is important to talk to your doctor or physician before doing any workout, even if it's a prenatal safe workout. Also, speaking of prenatal, we create this um, type of hormone called relaxin during pregnancy. You can see it's already working on me now. <laughs> that creates a little more stretch and the ability to go a little bit further, obviously for labor. So I want you to be thinking about that when you're stretching. Not going too far, but taking it just where you need to. And think of it as a rule of thumb, don't take it any further than you would before you were pregnant. So just because you feel like you might be a little more flexible, be on the safer side because you can end up hurting yourself. All right, let's go ahead and take one last inhale through the ears all the way down behind you. Take those hands up overhead, lift through the shoulders. And as you exhale, take that right hand down to the right side and reach the left arm up overhead. Look underneath that left arm, stretch through the fingertips, bending into that right knee, right arm. As you exhale, reach the left arm up, take it over to the other side. Left palm plants, right arm reaches. Beautiful. Once more, just like that. Right hand plants, left arm lifts. And exhale, left arm drops, right arm reaches. Stretching through that side waist. And slowly take both hands down to the sides. From here, let's drop our head in towards our chest. And then lift through the shoulders. Bring those shoulders down behind you as you lift the chin up to the ceiling. Just as high as feels comfortable for you today. Try that again. Drop the chin down towards the chest. Look down. And inhale, lift the chin, lift the gaze. Find a nice neutral stopping point here at the center, gazing out in front of you. And let's walk our palms out in front of us so we can find all fours. So those knees come right underneath the hips, the hands come right underneath the shoulders. Pausing here for a moment, making sure your spine is nice and long and you're relaxing through the pelvic floor so you're not holding on to anything here. You're actually pressing those glutes back behind you just slightly. From here, let's tuck the chin in towards the chest as we curl through the spine and press the shoulders apart. Hold it at the top. As you inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze out in front. If you're not pregnant, you can drop it a little bit lower, but if you are, I'd like for you to just stop at a nice neutral spot here, not pressing the belly too far. Inhale, go ahead and tuck the chin, press away. And take it back to cow position, dropping that belly, lifting through the shoulders, gazing out in front. Once more, pull it in and up. And exhale, drop it down. Find that nice neutral spine here. 
and kick that right leg back behind you. Lift that right leg all the way up. And as you exhale, curl that right knee so that your heel comes in towards the glutes. We're just gonna work on a little rotation here. So pull that right knee in towards you and then exhale nice and slow, lift it high. We're lifting the chest as we lift the heel. Pull the right knee in and then exhale, lift it back. Two more just like it, nice and slow. Inhale for two, exhale back. Inhale in, exhale back. Beautiful. Go ahead and release that right foot out as the farthest part as you can, nice and long. And then balance here by reaching that left arm out in front of you. Nice long spine. Imagine someone's holding on to the hand and the toe. Hold it here. And exhale, drop it all the way down. Lift that leg high. Lift. Bend through that heel, ankle is lifting towards the ceiling. Now we pull it in for two, and lift. Pull it in, and lift. That head, neck, and shoulders comes with you as you lift through the heel, and exhale, pull it in. Last one, hold it high. Kick that heel back behind you, nice long straight leg. Reach the right arm right in front and hold it here for four, for three, for two. Exhale, nice long line down to the foot and the knee. Drop those toes together, knees apart, send those hips back towards the boot. Long arms, long chest. Take a deep inhale here. Inhale and exhale. From here, gaze out in front of you at those hands. Come to hands and knees. Slowly tuck those toes out from underneath you. Lift those hips, press back for downward facing dog. Get inverted a little bit here. Let that baby hang loose. Or not, if you don't have a baby, you're just pressing those hips. These ladies are not pregnant. <laughs> All right, we're gonna slowly pull that right knee forwards. So just as closely as you can, drop it between the hands. If you need a little help, help yourself out. Let's keep that back leg nice and lifted here. Make space for the baby if you need to by walking that foot out to the edge of your mat. Pause here, look out and forwards. Pull those shoulders back behind you. Exhale, nice and slowly drop that back knee. Beautiful. And tuck the toes behind you. Take a deep inhale. Come to the finger tops where you're pressing at the fingertips here. And exhale. Beautiful. If you want to stay here, go for it. If you want to take it a little further, you might come down to your forearms all the way down to the mat. Pause and hold. And exhale, come back to those finger tops. Pause at the top here. And then lift the chest. Take your hand to the outside edge of that right foot. Walk that foot to the center of your mat and straighten that leg. Pull those hips back behind you. Pull the foot forwards. Drop the head, neck, and shoulders nice and low towards that leg. Thinking about extending that right hip bone back and that left hip bone turns forward. So imagine that your hips have headlights on them and you want them to be in the same field here. Pulling back, pulling forwards. Let's create a little movement with this move here. So walk those fingers forward, look out in front, and forwards for two, and extend. Forwards for two, nice and slow, and extend. Forwards, and extend. Forwards, and extend. Hold it at the back here. 
here once more. Drink nice and low down towards that shin. Reach those arms long. Beautiful. Bend into that right knee. Come forward. Tuck that back toe. Press into the palms nice and firmly here. Step that back foot behind you. Take it to a downward dog. Press into those heels. You can bend those knees when you get there. Bend it right and left, left and right. Four more counts. Here's four. And one. Right here, let's pull that left knee forward. So go ahead and stop it where it needs to. And then help yourself out, holding onto the ankle, taking it forwards. Take that right knee nice and straight to start. Lift the chest, come to those fingertops on the inside edge of that foot. We're just pressing back through that heel and then slow. Pause here at the bottom, take a few deep breaths. Let those hips sink low to the mat. Press up onto those palms. Lift up through the heart center. Slightly lift up off of that leg so you can walk it in towards the center of your mat. And then straightening that front leg, leaning forward. Pulling that left hip bone back, the right hip forward. Forward fold over that left shin. Take a nice deep inhale, drop it low. Beautiful. Nice and long leg, nice long spine here. When you're ready, start to look forwards up at those toes. We're going to bend into that knee and come forwards right here. Take it forwards and bring it back nice and slow. Bring it forwards and bring it back. Two more just like that, then we'll pause at the back. Bring it back. Forwards for two. And hold it here at the back for me. Straightening that front leg, curling the toes towards your face. Fingers nice and long, spine nice and straight. Tuck the chin to the chest. Bend into that left knee, plant those palms nice and firmly, send that left leg back behind you, lift up through the glutes, lift up through the hips, downward facing dog. Pause here, last down dog here in this practice. Slowly look up towards your hands, drop those knees down. Come up to the knees here. We'll face this direction for you here, turning towards the screen. We're gonna take that right leg extended out for gate pose. The edge of my right foot is to the edge of the mat. Right hand comes to the top of the thigh. Left arm reaches up and over. It might come all the way down to that shin, maybe the ankle. Lift up through the heart center, pulling that left shoulder back, reaching the fingers long towards the ceiling. And exhale, left hand comes all the way down to the mat, nice and slow. Reach that right arm up overhead. Long, tall spine all the way through the toe, through the finger. Look up to the hand or towards the ceiling underneath the arm. And then slowly turn that right shoulder down towards the left side and walk your hands into the center. This time you can drop that right knee in towards you and then extend the left leg. Walk those fingertips up to the, the hips. Left arm comes to the left leg, right arm reaches. Beautiful, reach the fingertips long. Take a deep inhale, stretch through the belly. Reach the fingertips long. Exhale, 
exhale, right hand comes nice and slow all the way down to your mat, left arm reaches up overhead. Opening through the shoulders, looking under that left arm. Deep inhale. And exhale, turn that left shoulder down towards the mat, all the way through center. Take that left knee to meet the right. Open up those knees here. Take another child's pose. Hips down, arms long, all the way down to the mat. Finishing here in child's pose. And take those hands up to your knees. Go ahead and swing those feet out from underneath you. Take those feet to a nice seated position, hands to your knees, just where we started here. Let's take a few head rolls, right ear to the right shoulder, chin down towards the chest all the way around. Nice and slow. A few times each direction. When you're ready, switch out the other way. Slowly pulling that chin in towards the chest to finish, and then gently lifting through the spine, through the top of the head, till you find a nice, tall, neutral position here. You can keep your eyes closed, you can bring your hands to your heart center, or you can even place one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart. Thank you for joining me for this short stretching sequence. My name is Megan. This is Lori and Lauren. <laughs> I'm so glad you joined us today, and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed afternoon. Thank you.